coming soon to a PBS affiliate near you. The story of America told through the story of a man, a simple man, a farmer who met and married Mary and went on to become an American hero. You will see how this humble farmer, this country lawyer, Ralph Regula, who was a teacher, a husband and a father, who became a congressman, who worked with other leaders in Washington and elsewhere to help his constituents and his country, and did it all as a country gentleman would, with civility, with respect, and with dignity and bipartisanship. You will hear the story of how Ralph got his start as a public official. You will hear from someone who knows. He was somebody uh, down there on the farm uh, in uh, Navarre that was looking for uh, government that worked, better government. And uh, he decided, you know, he had the training in the background uh, to do it and thought he should give it a shot. We thought he should give it a shot. You will hear from the former editor of the Canton Repository as he talks about Congressman Ralph Regula. He, he worked hard to make things positively happen in, in his district and in Stark County and even outside Stark County. And the former chairman of the County Democratic Party. He was the ranking minority member on the Appropriations Committee, which is probably, in my opinion, the most important committee because you control the money. And you will see how Ralph Regula used his humanity, his gentle determination, and the lessons he learned at the University of Mount Union to help develop his district from colleges to hospitals to airports and more while tending to the many constituent needs every day. Find out the role President Ronald Reagan played in the Regula's Farms Fence and see how our country farmer taught his congressional friends from the cities a little bit about country life. I remember once going down to his farm in Nevada, I think it's in Nevada, and he showed me how to milk a cow. I mean, I said, I didn't think I was going to milk cows. And you will see that that Ralph Regula legacy is not only still alive at the University of Mount Union, but it is thriving, and in a way that the congressman himself helped to set into motion through the Ralph and Mary Regula Center for Public Service and Civic Engagement. The original idea for the Regula Center actually came from Ralph Regula. Uh, when he was in Congress, uh, he wanted a center for public service somewhere, and in the early 2000s uh, was able to get an appropriation to his alma mater, Mount Union. But the goal of the center, as Harry probably told you, is to give students a an idea of, uh, of having a vision so that they take their talent as a college graduate out into the community uh, and, and try to do what I did. And you will see how the center has grown. The regular center here on campus at Mount Union is um, here to help students understand jobs in the public sector and so we really work on filling Mount Union's mission while also doing some of the things that were really important to Ralph and Mary. And witness the progress that the Ralph and Mary Regula Center for Civic Engagement has made by meeting some of the alumni of the center, those who will continue to help take the legacy forward. I was very much involved with the Regula Center in regards to community service that I did through all of my other student organizations and student involvement. Um, but it was actually a professor of mine that brought it to my attention and said I should maybe look a little into it. And then I spoke with Abby and more of the details came into the picture and I said this is something I really want to get involved in because it was a part of my whole academic journey and college journey that I wasn't so much aware of. I applied for the regular scholar program because of some people that were already in the program and the legacy they were leaving on Mount's campus following Mr. Regula's legacy that he had left on the community and I wanted to be a part of that and the legacy that he left and a part of really making a difference in the community and reaching out and serving others. It, it's especially meaningful to be a regular scholar uh, because, I mean, I think it became more meaningful to me be, uh, once I started to understand more about Ralph and understand the impact that he had had and why this um, whole regular center came to be. And we will meet the president of the University of Mount Union as he tells about the connection of Ralph the person and Ralph the congressman as he explains the goal of the center at the university. You know, I think students learn by doing, and this generation of students probably more so than previous generations. They don't sit in a library by themselves and crack a book. That's not how they learn. They learn by being more interactive and getting involved. And see what Congressman Ralph Regula and America stands for.
President William McKinley once said, that's all a man can hope for during his lifetime, to set an example. And the example that Congressman Ralph Regulus set is an example of America and today for America. An America that is the strength of the world and the hope of so many and a country that spawns leaders like Ralph Regula. I think it's just the way he was, is he was described to me one time by a former publisher who said, Ralph Regula was a good politician. He was really a good man. A farmer, a country lawyer, a family man, a congressman, a visionary, a true servant, a friend, a product, a son of America, and a University of Mount Union graduate. Our Ralph Regula.